G'day guys, Elfie here. Been a long time since I've done a tutorial, but this is a tutorial about how to do textures in 1.5.1. Um, we are working towards a 1.6 release, uh, but and that's going to have an impact here, but I don't know how much of an impact, but this will help you sort out animated textures. So if you haven't seen this already, here's a quick video showing what you're capable of. Um, what you can see here is the animal cell membrane actually appears to be flowing. Um, and this is all done through animated textures. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to actually make those animated textures. Um, the process for pulling the edge texture pack out is still the same as in the previous video. Um, the difference is there's a textures folder here and that's not been there in the past. It's split into two folders there, so you've got blocks and items. So each individual block and item now has its own um, texture picture instead of having the one massive stitch together one we used to have. So the cell membrane is actually ice. So if I head down to the ice texture, you'll be able to see what's happening. Um, so you can see it's a long skinny um, it's a long skinny block instead of just a 16 by 16 texture this is actually a lot longer um, so this is actually 16 by 16 lots of 16 I can't think of that but it is off the top of my head but it's a very long skinny picture um, and what happens is each 16 pixels is a, its own image and you can call each of those images for a certain amount of time so the whole idea here is the associated text file tells it what to do this text file here is telling it to run image 0 for 3 ticks and image 1 for 3 ticks and image 2 for 3 ticks all the way down to image 15 for 3 ticks. Um, so that's what makes it appear animated. So there are 16 different images in that picture that are just cycled through. So to make that sort of um, image what you do is is just add on bottom so add on another 16 pixel block to the bottom. So if I open this picture up in paintbrush so what you can do, if you just copy that texture over, create a new image for 16, say let's say by 32, so this will have two, two images between it, um, and then we can use that. So if we zoom in there again, and we'll paste in the original, and then I'm going to fill the other colour in. So you just fill it in, or draw your texture any way you want, so I've chosen red here. Um, I'm going to save that as Hellsand, so it's got to have the same image name, otherwise it doesn't work. So I'm just going to save that somewhere for now because I don't necessarily want to keep it. Um, so that's Hellsand.png now. And then I'm also going to copy the text file. So I'm going to, I'm going to open up ice.txt and I'm just going to copy, duplicate that and create a new one and I'm going to call that hellsand.txt. So now that I've got a hellsand text, what I can do is I've only got two images, so I'm going to delete the rest. That So it's now got zero for three seconds and one for three seconds. And if I grab that texture from my pictures, there it is. So I might save that one, I might just put that out there for now and put that one in instead. Now if I archive all of that, name that as textures.zip, put it in a server, I'll be in a server shortly and show you what it does. Okay, so here we are in a world, um, this is actually my periodic table world. Um, with a custom texture pack in it now. So if I go into my textures and I find Soul Sand, you can see it's flashing. So it's flashing between, so don't look if you're having issues with this, but it's flashing between the Soul Sand texture and the red texture I had. So you can make animated textures just by stringing a group of textures down below and then referring to that texture. Um, so I'll try and get that out of my hand. Uh, nothing else has changed in the texture pack from there, it's just now each individual block has its own separate image file and you can now make them animated on the fly. So for example my ice, hope that's glass, where's ice? You can see just flows around. So that I created that by creating 16 different images 
um, so each image is one pixel over so it just looks like it's a continual flow um, that's pretty much it thanks for watching I hope that helps and there'll be a new tutorial coming shortly about how to make resource packs um, once we're up to 1.6 thanks for watching guys see ya